What is up you guys? Giga here back with another video and today we are going to try and get the Polaris started up. Um, so I have done a couple of things off camera. I just want to show you guys what I did real quick. Um, so I took off the front bumper because I want to straighten it out. It's over here on the floor. Um, you can't really tell. Um, I want to straighten it out and then uh, I took off the mounts that were right here. They were actually to another LED light, or I think this is where the LED light originally was. And then they made these, like, custom brackets right here for it. So I don't know what happened there. Um, I put some washers on this. Oh, off or up. Um, actually, that reminds me, too. Uh, I'm trying to pick up some deals, you guys. Look. Found a. Let's see if it focuses. Okay, well, you can't really tell. It's a 1987 Honda. Uh, 250X, I think it is. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, I offered the guy. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Uh, he's asking for 800. I offer him 400. He said, "Come get it." I might go get this right now, you guys. We'll see. Um, anyways. But, yeah. So, I started doing that. Uh, I changed the battery out. And then I wanted to see how it looked with the actual plastic. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, they are pretty beat up. They're just faded and, you know, just old. And the sun got to them. I might get them painted at my work. So, I'm not sure. And then I noticed it's missing a plastic that goes here. I might order those. I found those for $55. Um... Oh, like I was saying, I fixed the, the little shroud right here, put some washers on them. Now they're solid. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, I wanted to try and come up with this. So I don't like that the front doesn't have a plastic, but I don't plan on buying the front plastic. It's pretty expensive, but I did think of this. I don't know what you guys think. It's kind of hard while I'm holding the camera. So I pretty much thought of something like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I have a, a piece of uh, aluminum metal that I had at work. And I totally forgot to bring it. It's uh, Saturday, so I forgot to bring it over the weekend. Um, so I'm thinking that might be kind of cool. I don't know. Because I want to hide all these wires. Like, it looks terrible in here. I know some of these go to like the headlight and probably all the switches that go right here. The other thing that I would have to do is uh, change the key switch and the choke. I want to put those back up here where they usually were. So I might have to buy that, um, the little, what is it called? Not sure what it's called. Uh, this thing where it lights up because that one doesn't have any of the, the lights and stuff. So I don't like that either. That I like, you know, I know where neutral is, but the fact that I can't see it if I'm on it or if I'm not, you know what I mean? So, that's another thing. Um, what else did I start doing to it? Um, that's the old carb on the nerf bars right here. But I did start um, looking for some parts for it. Um, I think today we're going to end up flushing out the tank and then... Um, I'm going to see if I need to clean the carb if it doesn't get started with that. Um, I, another thing that I found out is that these have a fuel pump. So maybe something could be going wrong with the fuel pump. But there is a fuel pump delete thing that I found too. So I might try to do that and um, make it work like a regular out of the petcock where it kind of, what is it called, like air auto feeds it. I might do that. Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, I guess uh, let's go ahead and get started on the video. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart again real quick and start draining the tank since last time I didn't want to start. I have uh, really bad allergies today too, but I really want to get this done. So if I sound really crappy, that's why.
Oh, you know what else, you guys? I haven't checked. Is um, I haven't checked to see the air filter. Um, that might be dirty as well. I d highly doubt that's why it doesn't start. Um, it's a possibility, but I highly doubt it. Right here too, that just snap on to hold it. So now this should come up. There's that. I think we actually have a, a K&N filter in here. It doesn't look like the greatest thing ever. I think it's torn up here. But it is filthy. So I'm going to put this to wash. I'm seeing it on the sink. And as you can tell, that's pretty dirty water. Pretty much all that shit coming off the way. But at least it has uh, this type of filter, so you know we could just reuse it after we clean it. But it is like pretty filthy. That is crazy. Alright. So there's that. I'll let that sit and dry. Drain. And I actually have been trying to find some tires. Um, obviously I want to buy some used ones, uh, but still decent, and I've been having a really hard time finding tires. Um, the ones that I found were basically in, uh, Santan, which is probably, like, an hour away from my house. So, um, but I found them for, like, 20 bucks, so that's not a bad deal. But just the back one. Um, there is another guy selling, um, sand tires, and I found, um... And I found him selling some for, I think they were like 50 bucks, but he won't be home till tomorrow. So I might just wait on that. Uh, I'm not sure. Because that guy's selling like both the front and the back and I think like two extra ones. So for 50 bucks, for $30 more, I could just wait and get a lot more out of it. So I guess I'll probably do that. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. What else did I look for? I think that's all I looked for. Yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, another thing that I wanted to look for was, oh, like the little plastics here. Um, I looked for this, the little uh, chain cover. Um, I haven't ordered anything. I kind of want to get it started, and then that way I'll feel a little bit more comfortable buying more stuff and putting more money into it. So that's what I feel like I'm going to do. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and get this drain. Uh, this drain, this tank drained, and then uh, we can figure out if hopefully it's going to start after that or see what else we're going to need with it. If that doesn't work, I might just try and put some starting fluid through the car and see if it starts so at least I could hear it run. That might make me feel a little bit better. But it does sound like it has compression and it does um, turn over uh, really good. So uh, that at least makes me feel better, but I would feel even better if it started. But anyways... Less talking, more draining the tank. I believe it's just this bolt right here. You know what? I think I'm not even going to take it off. I can actually drain, but I wanted to clean it too, so I don't know. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to take it off. But I do need to plug it. This thing doesn't even have a cap for the or a clamp. It definitely changed the fuel lines on this. You can't not. Oh yeah. I can get it to train. We'll just let it drain like this.
Another thing that um, I'm going to try, actually, is a, uh, there's like a, a fuel pump delete, and um, like you guys saw on the front, it has the fuel pump. Uh, I basically want to get rid of that and just to clean up the front and all the wiring harness and all that stuff. So I want to do that too. Oh, I was on there very tight. Okay, there's that. Has an NGK. Holy crap, it's windy as hell outside. It has a. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It has this spark plug in there, NGK. I mean, the top doesn't look too bad, but it is a little black. So, I guess we'll see. Let me check it out to see if it's going to have a spark. I don't like this. The boot feels terrible. It doesn't even feel like the spark plug goes in how it should. Maybe that could be the reason why. See, it looks like it doesn't even like click or nothing. So before it didn't have the little top here, I put one on to see if it maybe clips on better. Oh yeah, see? Now it does. Okay, maybe that's all it needed, which I highly doubt, but I guess we'll check now to see if it has spark. So you guys can see it's right here. Watch. That's like a ridiculous amount of spark. I haven't seen a quad have that much spark in a while. At least like all the ones I've owned. That's really good. Usually it's like a little tiny, um, you know, spark. But now that that's really good. So I'm going to go ahead and probably clean this one off and put it back on. But from what I think, you guys, um, it, it would, didn't have this. Maybe that's all it needed. I don't know. But it didn't have this. And when you put the boot on, it didn't clip like it usually does. So, you know, it's on there like tight. And it was just by itself without this like that. And this doesn't grab onto anything. So maybe that's why there was no actual spark and it was just trying to start. So maybe this will hopefully do. I'm going to try and clean up the tip of it just real quick with a little brush and then I'm going to put it back on. Alright, so that's good. At least it has spark. So now I'm going to check um, the, I'm going to put new gas in it, but before that I'm going to try and do that fuel pump delete thing that I heard. So um, it's going to be a fuel line straight from the carburetor to the pet cock because on this fuel tank it doesn't have two so it doesn't have a, a gravity fed one and then a, um, a regular one going to the carb so I'm going to try it out and see if hopefully that works it should and we'll put this back on okay so we're going to take this one off now came off so so that one's out. Now I got room. There we go. There we go. So I got the clamp back on this one. So now all I'm gonna do is basically put the gas tank back on. Everything should be okay. All right, so we we put some uh, new 91 uh, gas in it. Um, I changed that 
the fuel pump, I took that, deleted that, pretty much took that out of the question out of being um, bad. So that's not going to be a problem. Um, the other thing is, I didn't check the car, but um, that should be okay. I'm going to leave it without the air filter just to see if it runs. So that's what I'm going to try now. I know it has oil, um, but actually I'm going to double check because I know when I put oil in it, it didn't have any. Um, and then I know it has coolant, so that should be good. But I just want it to run to so just turn it on for just a second. I'm going to just try and start it and see what happens. Um, if it doesn't start, then I'm going to try spraying some car cleaner through the back and see if that helps. But, uh, pretty much let's see what happens. Check the pet clock and see when it's on. Choke. Alright, ready? No. Let me try some cars cleaner and see if that helps. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to try taking off this boot so I can be directly to the car. Did that work? That might be too much, but one last try. I see smoke coming out the car, so I know it's getting some in there. wants to. It hasn't tried to like catch but it, it looks like it wants to. Could be that he tried to mess with the car too, and uh, you know, didn't didn't uh, have it set right. And usually, when you buy cars, they come like you know preset for ready, unless you're rejetting it or whatever. Um, but yeah, I was trying to give it a couple turns right here and see if that was gonna help. Let me try and start it up one more time. And then I guess that'll be it, and then we'll move on to timing. Let's try a little bit more hard. So I think that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Um, pretty much, I know it has um, the batteries decent. It turns over. It turns over. It, uh, it cranks and everything. Um, we have gas. Um, we have spark. So the next uh, video I will be uploading is probably going to be me of one of me 
checking if it has timing and then I'll try to give it another start and if for whatever reason it doesn't start still I'm gonna um, do uh, the what is it check the timing and then um, I'm gonna see if uh, it has really good compression if not I mean you can hear it but it's kind of hard to tell uh, what it's supposed to be at I'll double check that I'll, I'll research that and then um, I'll get back to you guys but that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I'm at 230 something subscribers. I really appreciate every one of you guys. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Um, this will help me with my channel and obviously make content, content for you guys. And then um, that way I can get more quads and uh, you know show you guys uh, the way I do my DIYs. And hopefully it helps you guys out. By no means, I'm no professional. Um, but I do try and I do a lot of research before I do things. Don't take my word for everything I do. But, you know, I'm sure it will help somebody. Even at least give them an idea for, you know, when they try to do something themselves. But, again, thank you guys for watching. Peace.